Hello and welcome to the USC Outsider Podcast. I'm Rick Barbera. This is Scott Pitts. Yes, I am. And we are your unofficial source for everything related to the University of Southern California football team. Now, we are in no way officially affiliated with the University of Southern California, and all opinions expressed are uniquely ours. So, if you have uh, small children, send them out of the room, and if you're at work, put us on headphones, because we might swear. Fuck yeah. You've been warned. (laughs) You've been warned, and, and Pitts took it and that- made it not a family show inside of 27 seconds. Was it too early? Not for Stanford Week, Pitts. That's right. Pac-12 Stanford play. Week, where we play the... And we can't get a better quality sound. That's that's the best we could do for the, for the fight song. We can't Ooh, get listen. some somebody to come in and fix that in post and make it a good, solid stereophonic version when of we, the fight song. When we do things live, maybe next week I can bring a little thing... Like that makes better sound, but it's coming out of my phone now. We are high tech wizards here. At least it's the fight song. Yeah, that's not right. something from the seventies. Uh, we should get the band in here. Well, I would love to get the USC band we'll in get here. Get like ten of them. We'll do that. Does everybody know what happened last Saturday at the Coliseum? Because USC is now two in a row, and for some reason, magically number I believe eight in the country. Six. Six. Fine. Eight. You six. say eight, I say six. Uh, Number so six in the semantics, country. right? Do we deserve it? I don't know. We're going to find out this week when we play the Stanford Cardinal. We will find out this week. We'll we find out it. a little bit more because if you look deeper, deeper, at Stanford's first two opponents, they lost to the Nerd Bowl uh, in, in Evanston when they played, you know, that mighty football factory of Northwestern. They, they lost to Northwestern. Yeah, that was an early game for Stanford, though. It was 9 a.m. on the East Coast. Look at you making excuses I'm not for making the farm. Excuses. This is what, wow. uh, this is what they, they were saying. That okay. they, they weren't awake yet. That 4 a.m. wake-up call <laughs> was early for them. So. Uh-huh. So. I don't care. I don't They're, either. <laughs> those are paid athletes. Yeah, they didn't put... They, I think they put up nine points on These, these on are guys who are going to be doctors, lawyers. They got into Stanford. I couldn't have gotten into Stanford. They got into Stanford. These guys are going to run the country soon. Yeah. And uh, they can play football. They're like superstar stud jocks. I don't, I don't care what happens to them. We have beaten them two years in a row. Two years in a row on, on two field goals on last two, minute. Yeah. That's... What a legacy. And... This this Hadari. year, he's gone though. What are we gonna do? Hadari's it gone. It can't come down to that. We've also never had bodies this well rested, this healthy, and this ready to go since the Pete Carroll era. It's been a while. Yeah. So we're uh, we're you know the sanctions are over. We are ready to play with a full roster, a deep roster. The, I think the running backs, the the depth chart goes down to twenty seven now. There's like a kid in <laughs> high school who who's now on the roster. Who's like number 27? Are you counting 27? Well, yeah. I'm counting nine people that rushed the rock last week. Um, that's including Cody Kessler. Did you guys see us play? I'd, I stopped watching. I uh, couldn't we see We played the Idaho on, Vandals last yeah. Saturday night. It was on that shit network. And the Pac-12 network where the where DirecTV said, Hey, do you guys have a... Do you guys want to watch Pac-12 network on, on DirecTV? Nope. No, no it no. wasn't. It wasn't no, get Pac-12. Something else. It was Larry Scott... The Pac-12 commissioner's fault. The tennis coach. Um, that's right. Larry Scott, the drunken tennis coach. Yeah. Larry Scott, the drunken child molesting tennis coach. Jeez. <laughs> I don't think you can say that. That's not I can't, true. I can't. He's I can't. Part if, of that, I, if I say Part of that true. statement's not true. I, uh, as far as I know. Do you have your volume on? Uh, you're, you do. <laughs> it's your blame, volume. First, you blame it Blame it on, on uh, waking up early, and you can blame it on me. Yeah. Here's... Here's the issue. We played. We played uh, the Idaho Vandals last Saturday at oh, what was it like eight, it eight was ten p.m. five o'clock Pacific last time. Week. The yep. only time that matters. Five o'clock Pacific last week. The final score was. You know, I was close with my prediction of. You going were the closest 70, one. Yeah. I got that. I got that text during the game from from David saying, "Hey, you know, Rick was close. Said, uh, oh, Rick, I yeah. said it was going to be like seventy to something. Actually, I'll pull it up right now. But the the final score of the game last week, we we, we we led thirty eight to three at half. We ended up winning. Oh, where is it? Fifty nine to to nine. That's right. Fifty nine to nine. That's a lot of nines against Idaho. We were Utah. platooning the. De- <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 
It's a good joke. Stop that joke. You can't joke. use it anymore. Well, it's all done. Because unless, I... unless we play Boise State in a bowl game, you can't use the Idaho joke anymore. I'm going to use that joke. I'm going to use it this week for Stanford. I'm going to call you Spud. You sh okay. Let's do that then. What are you going to tell me, Rick? Cody Kessler uh, threw 410 yards. Another career night for the. And I'm not making Mr. that Kessler. stat up. That's actually, that's true. Three TDs. Uh, not that he needed to stay in the game past this, the first half, but somehow he did. Uh, Trey Madden and Justin Davis, the two running backs, looked fantastic. Uh, Isaac How about Whitley, Ronald Jones? Ronald Jones. He's incredible. That kid's the guy. If, if Trey Madden and Justin Davis leave after this year, and Ronald Jones is the guy who we're told has to be the guy in the first game next year when for some reason we play Alabama. Yep. I'm going to say fine. The <laughs> he, gonna he can be okay. do it. He's fine. Um, that that O line is, are going to be juniors. O line is going to be juniors. O line are going to be juniors. O line is going to be juniors. What's the English there? What's the what's the? Just speak it. Okay, the O line's back. Yeah. All of those there guys are going to be back. Um, Ronald Jones had the Except most touches Turek, that night. He Did had eight touches for 83 yards, okay. averaging 10 and a half. Busted off one for 44. Yes, he did. And a TD. Uh, Justin Davis looked good. Five for 74 yards. Averaged 14.8 yards. Mm -hmm. Busted off a 44-yard run. Two TDs. Trey Madden, seven for 40. Averaged five and a half. Uh, long of nine. Put two TDs as well. Dominic Davis rushed. James Tolan, the fourth, rush. Stephon Smith rushed. Akas Cedric Ware rushed four for 14. Cody Kessler had one for three, and then Connor Sullivan mm -hmm. had one for negative four. So That's Connor Sullivan, the Italian kid, right? <laughs> yes. It's the most Italian name I've ever heard. And Isaac Whitney got into the act, too. Uh, for That's rushing? That's the, 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 yes. No, not for rushing, for receiving. He had a great game. He caught a 28-yard, uh, he had a 28-yard touchdown. One catch for 28. There we go. TD. Yep. Yes. Everyone was getting into the action. Man, the, this list of receiving is bananas here. We have, let's see, let's count them up. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, nine, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh, 12, more 13, than that. 14 kids making a catch. Uh, the standouts, obviously, Juju Smith-Schuster, 10 catches, 192 yards, uh, two TDs with a long of 50. Yes. Uh, Adoree. He'll who, be he'll be triple team this week. Yeah, you think so? But yes, then that I believe. Opens that up. Go ahead. Mr. Smith Schuster will be triple team. I think you might be right, but then that well, pick your poison because then you got a Dory Jackson, and then you've got uh, Jalen Green, who's surprisingly looking like a big, big time receiver out mm -hmm. there. And he can throw the ball, so he he's a threat that way in the right. trick play. You got Stephen Mitchell Jr. You got Darius Rogers. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Who are you gonna cover? The I can't hear anything in my left ear. Yeah, me either. And it's it's not because of all the cocaine I snorted before <laughs> the broadcast. I thought Partially there's because of that. Hey, there that's we go. Something. That's perfect. Thank you. And it went. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> right on. Okay, we're good. We're back. Michael, uh, Michael would have never figured that out. No, not at all. Michael would would, would not. He would have poured milk on it. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? What were we talking about? The kicker. You want to talk? We about We finally the kicker? started booting the ball out of the back Alex, of the end zone. Alex Wood made eight extra points. Mm -hmm. uh, one field goal for 24 yards. He was 100 percent on the day. So once again, I can't say anything bad about the defense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just yeah, the defense can't. was there. However, the, yes, go ahead. They were playing Utah, right? See, I did it again. But before that, Told Arkansas State was it Arkansas State? <laughs> or is it, they're supposed to be the best team in the Sun Belt. Well, that's, did you know that? That's like saying that mm. you and I are the best show <laughs> uh, in the nation for college football. Okay, which we, we are. We are. Yeah, kind of are. You kind of are. So then next, uh, this week the kickoff is at 5 p.m. The only time that matters. It's coming to you from the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Do you remember in triple overtime a few years ago? God when? Uh, damn it. When we were, yeah, we were waiting for you to get married. Yeah, it was at the rehearsal dinner. But mm -hmm. the, the last three minutes of the game, when uh, Andrew Luck threw the interception, and SC celebrated because we thought, oh, this is it. Like, this is yeah, going to Yeah, well, we got him. Then we Andrew Luck scored, scrambled and scored in the last, what, 17 seconds of oh, the game? God. At the Coliseum. Yeah. Thankfully, the last two years have not been like that. David Shaw has taken some flack for his play calling. Uh, and he gets irritated because he's one of the coaches in 
college football that still insists on calling all the plays. Whereas coaches like Steve Sarkeesian said, no, I'm going to go ahead and let the offensive coordinator call the plays this year. And Thank so God. far, it's been unbelievably good. Yeah. The uh, the ball being spread around has been incredible. The Spread. The, spread. The balance between pass and, and rush has been incredible. Uh, the calls have been the right calls at the right time. Again, Sun Belt. They were the Sun Belt Conference. This, yeah, we've this... played two Sun Belters. No. So we're going to get into it this week. We're okay. going to find out how that's all going to work out. Well, I wanted to go over our scores from last week well, that, that. That, we, that we predicted. I wanted to find the screenshot because David put it up. I think I have it here. On, uh, online, and I wanted to go over and gloat that I was close, closer than you guys. You were, on, but on who, I want to say this. You went over. You said, I did. You said I thought, 72 to 6, and I think it's closer without going over. Oh, yeah. Pitts had 47 to 113. No, that's what. Am I reading that wrong? 40, 47 to 13. 47 that makes 13. me the winner, although I did go over on the 13. David had 42 to 10. Might make him the winner. But You were yeah. closest. But it was 50... 53 59, 59 to 9. 59 to 9. Yeah. I don't 59 to 9. Do some do the math on that. I was Who's the closest I was overall? under by 12. You were over by 13. There are no points against over, by the way. Okay. We and you were that. over by 13, so technically I was closer. And I was only uh four off by uh on uh, Idaho's Too math. score. Too much math. Yeah. But I listen, was told hey, there would my be math, no math was good. Yeah. Did good math. First time. First time for everything. So, Rick, we'll have to do it again. Uh, I think this week's going to be a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like a 10-point game. Maybe nine. You want to do the predictions now? No, I, have, I, have, I still have to think game? about my prediction. I just think it's going to be about a 10-point game. Nine there, to 10-point game. The, I think the biggest, the biggest news that, uh, that I wanted to, to share this week is the fact that Lamar Dawson is finally going to be back. Maybe mm -hmm. not starting, but he will be back, which He's, means that this is truly one of those times where we've got enough healthy bodies to start, manage, and finish a game for the first time that I can remember. Long, for, long I mean, time. it's been... We, we lost so many guys the last year of Pete Carroll because that was the year that uh, that everybody went that everybody went pro. I mean, we, yeah. that's... We lost like the all Pete the Carroll. linebackers, yeah. yeah, including Pete Carroll. <laughs> uh, this is one of those times when it could. This could be. Uh, I'll say that Sarkeesian definitely has has got a full cupboard to work with, and if he, you know, I don't see him blowing it this week against Stanford, but maybe maybe other people do. I don't know. I'm not a. I I don't. I think the danger is, and you know me. And and Gumbel Brown have been talking this week. Oh, which uh, what did Gumbel say? Really, everything. Everybody's healthy. Uh, expect to see Lamar. Maybe not starting. Lamar Dawson starting, but but uh, he's going to be in there. I love and, it. And uh, Adore, just Adore, 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 Adore. Yeah. And uh, also to to note that the only danger is that these guys will be looking ahead to Arizona State. I don't think there's any way in hell that this team looks past Stanford. If there's a um, if there's a uh, trap, it's it's looking ahead to Arizona State. Sure, because um, that's the game where we have to go on the road. Why would and, that happen? I don't think there's any chance in hell that this coaching staff's going to let that happen. Um, I think they're preparing like it's the, the the Super Bowl this week. They ought to be preparing like it's the they Super Bowl should, every should. week. Absolutely, this could be a very special Absolutely. season at USC. <clears throat> Rick. So, uh, breaking news. Uh, this is uh, this is one from from the East Coast, mm. from Counselor Gino, who reports that the Stanford band is not allowed to travel to away games this year. Apparently, it's good to confine the hazing and sexual harassment to Northern California, and it got so bad in Palo Alto that Stanford's tree mascot raped Bill Cosby. Pitts, what do you wow. think the final score is going to be this um. week? <laughs> I think the final score this week is going to be somewhere uh, 35, maybe 37, 38 to... Uh, Write it down. I don't see okay, it. Okay, hold on. Write Stanford. Pitts for... Pitts. Stanford. 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 Two Ds okay. at the end. Two, Stanford. Two Ds. Two Ds. Yeah. F-U-R-D-D. F-U-R-D-D. That's how you spell that, D. right? 
<laughs> okay, I think uh, we get 38. And I think... Remember the girl that get... Justin Timberlake banged in uh, the social network that went to Stanford, the French, the French major? No. You know she didn't actually go to Stanford? That was an actress? 38. Who was paid to wear Stanford out outfits? Did you know that? No. Because no one that attractive has ever gone to Stanford? Uh, that's not true. It kind of is. It kind of oh, is, though. Yeah. It pretty All much right. is. I was going to say 38-35, okay. but I'm not going to. I'm going to say 38-28. I'm, I'm... What do you think of that? What do you think of those beans? 38-28? Yeah. I agree with your 28. I say USC 28, Stanford 14. Okay. 28-14. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think that... SC's offense has a real good chance of lighting things up. Kevin Hogan is a is a talented quarterback. Absolutely. He's a, he's a ninth year senior. Uh, yeah, that's he's actually true. 37 years old. That's true too. Uh, he is capable of running the ball and if he gets going, look out. Uh, he he has a, a veteran line in front of him. Stanford is known to, and everybody's saying Stanford is known to play the, like this real big physical game. You know, they have a nine tight end set. They I I think that Stanford's just a good a good team. I'm surprised that David They're Shaw well is coached. still in the in college. I've said that for yep. a couple of years now. I I would prefer to have him in the pros. Well, I like I I like him. We I like said Shaw. that about Harbaugh, and then Harbaugh left, and then he then left, he went he back left behind a good he, one behind. That's gonna be yeah. I would not want to play a Harbaugh team. No, not goodness. and not in the Big Ten. That he's um, taking care of business in week two. At Michigan, he's already he's turning it around. I don't think that that uh, Reverend Meyer has anything to worry about this year from that from <laughs> that particular either. game. But I do think in the years to come, if you're talking about the Big Ten, that's gonna that's gonna be one of those great. It, yeah, it's well, it could get be a great again. rivalry. I until hope it gets good again. It could until Harbaugh says, "Well, wait, this this guy who's who's a very good recruiter and very good. I'm talking about Reverend Meyer, who's a very good recruiter in college." Harbaugh can say, yes, I've actually, you know, coached the Super Bowl and uh, mm. been in the pros, and you're like a receivers coach that did very well for himself and well, stayed in college. And then I'm not going to take anything away The pressure away from got my... too much for you at Florida, and you, you decided that your heart was hurting you, and then your Jeez. wife drove you to the hospital, and now you, uh, you're you coaching Ohio State. How do you really feel about Urban Meyer? That I, I don't know about feeling. I think he's a great college coach. <laughs> I'd play for him. I'd, sure. I'd let my uh, my son or daughter play for him. But sure. really, there's there's if you're going to be... You know, if you want a future in football, I'd go for the Harbaugh. Sure. Um, real quickly, um, I want to see, uh, you got David, 10 seconds. What, what score you think you... Uh, oh, David, you want to step I in? I want to get your score. Okay. Yep. Okay. I just, I just want to get your score. Somebody's phone is fucking ringing. That is so professional. <laughs> okay. it's, it's actually not mine. It right? well, certainly wasn't mine. Was it mine? It David? Was David? Was it yours? It's fucking Norris. Nora, it was Norris, wasn't it? It was Norris. We'd like to welcome I don't, I don't uh, think so. welcome back Alex this week, who's our uh, champion over there, and and uh, he's grooming a an apprentice, I think. Yeah. His name is Norris. So. Welcome Norris. Welcome Norris. Thank, thank you, you Alex. Norris. Uh, thank, thank, you, thank you Alex. Thank, thank you Norris. Norris. Thank you. Did you talk about the drink of the week? No, we have not talked about let's that. Let's bring that up real quick. I also Pits. wanted to let's do a quick cheers. Uh, this is a, a vodka Negroni. Uh, it's uh, one part vodka, one part Campari, and one part sweet vermouth and one part love. Oh. Because it is our friend David's birthday today. Ah, uh, thank Happy you. Birthday, David. Happy, Happy birthday, David. Happy birthday to me. You stir that and then you drink it. You put it in your mouth. Mm. The amount of times I've heard Pitts say "put it in your mouth" on my birthday. <laughs> I mean, we're going well, we're going back to 1979. Where it's in the 30s now, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which absolutely made, we started young. So, uh, what are your predictions? Because I want to do one dollar, Bob. I, I said I said 38-28 USC wins. Mm -hmm. Rick said 28-14 USC wins. Yep. I'm going to say 42. To 33. 42, 33. How do you get 33? Well, it's a, it's a math thing. Okay. I just think there's going to be field goals and weird shit. Is 33 and a real who, who awkward wins, one? Who wins the game? Oh, we are. The U.S. Come on. Okay. Come on. Why even talk? Not a, not a tree. <laughs> I think a, you want to watch a Trojan fight a tree? What happens? The sword wins. Yeah. 
Yeah. Chop it right up. You chop it up. Uh, 4233, I like it. I was going to ask you guys something else that you were you were discussing, but we... Yes, the Trojan wears a condom when he bangs a tree. That's yeah, exactly what I was going to bring up. Did I read your mind? Yeah, you did. Again. Sap on again. Your dick. What? Dirty mouth. You... Hey, we have a blind long snapper. Is that what you wanted to talk about? Well, it's okay because yes, I did. I, I I texted that to uh, Pitts and was like, "You guys got to talk about this." By right? on Jake Olson. This, this he's guy been, was he's awesome. been around the, the the team for a while he and actually been. can can be fine uh, doing. Although he is he is in sight. He is. He's, he's a blind. Deprived. He's a blind kid, and he's been coming down since Pete Carroll days, right? Isn't that? What yeah, he was, he was uh, very true. He was uh, just before he lost his vision to a very rare cancer in his eyes. Yeah. Oh God. Um, he's a he was a huge Trojan fan growing up as a kid, and uh, lives in Floor Tower, by the way. He, Did he? Yep. Oh, he does. He's right going. To, he's going Currently. to school right now. Oh my God! Do you think he's in my old room? He, he's probably in your old room right now. Yeah. If he is, I almost went blind there myself. The combination <laughs> where the <laughs> beating off so much. <laughs> I thought that was college unit, yeah. yeah. which is apparently it was not all even of, college. It was all of them. Really. They call it something else now. <laughs> it was all of them. Floor was like your sophomore year, wasn't it? <laughs> Floor was my sophomore year. You were in Web, uh, your junior year, and uh, that's when we we screamed at each other from across that thing right, and, and challenged right each other to a fight and then went down to see if we would own, <laughs> if we would show up and people showed up waiting do you remember that waiting for the fight we screamed at each other there, yeah. in jest saying meet me downstairs we're going to kick the shit out of each other and then we went down and we're like did you hear those people they were <laughs> yeah well, we we yelled at each other through different uh through different windows from across the way and and <laughs> you like you screamed and then i yelled you know shut up i mean it shut up and and then we would call each other, like, what are you going to say next? What are you going to say oh, next? And then, so then, yeah. then we'd hang up the phone because he had to call each yeah. other from your, those plastic, they had, they gave plastic uh, phones Strings on them. in, at USC, <laughs> gratis, <laughs> plastic phones that you could use. I just remember you guys torturing your poor <laughs> Ari That was century. That was senior, senior, junior yeah. year. Yeah. 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 Century. Poor par. Par. It's, that's probably oh, yeah. not even there anymore either. That's when everything. Um, yeah, we and the, the repelling. Nick got not got arrested for. This is all arrested, stuff that the audience doesn't give yeah, a shit about, which shit I love. Out. Wait, can I um, bring up a couple of logistics of icethefrog.com? And uh, we posted, and I think we're going to do this story on the blind kid. We should post this. But I did a little supplemental what is that noise. What is, what is that? that noise? Outside. Somebody's outside. They're they're oh, cutting Oh, someone's weed whacking at eight thirty at night. Um, um, so so we did a thing on icthefrog.com where uh, we posted a little thing of like stuff we just talked about. Like I yeah, posted I the that. high five that thing. I posted the Tosh point oh. I posted a, um, a thing about uh, Minority Report with Stark Sands, and we got to post this uh, this this blind story because it's pretty awesome. Um, Super awesome. Very cool. But uh, and we'll post and keep going to icthefrog.com. And and I also want to challenge you guys. We almost had Mark Kelly here. We almost had James Mathis here, but we gotta we gotta get some guests in here to um to to, to bring it up. But next week, don't we have a very exciting guest? Can we, we announce that um, shit? Um, I don't. Is that solid, Rick? Is that a not solid yet? Ed let's, Tutal let's Jones from Ed, the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. Let's just wait till till next week, and then we can announce Norris a special guest up. for next week. Who, He's like, who what? No, what? Ed Tutal Jones, <laughs> Dallas Cowboy. Uh, did he pass away? <laughs> he might be. He might be gone. Okay, never mind. He may have left us uh, last. We night. might have a very special guest this week, and if not next week um he'll be here soon yes uh and he's gonna bring a lot we will have a guest next week let's just say let's that. say that we're gonna get there. somebody we're talking yeah. let's let's challenge maggie miguel to come out Ooh, Maybe i like Lo that she'd be logan hilarious. sparks yep. uh mark riley yep uh uh burt reynolds let's just get burt these reynolds guys in here is already on the docket he's gonna be here for the uh the last game of the season. Okay. So because he's well, he's also playing in the last game of the season. That, so well, that's yeah. He's gonna he's gonna come talk to us and then he's gonna play in it. It's gonna be the longest. Guys, journey. I have some sad news to announce. Oh no! Please no. Yes, I will not be attending the Notre Dame game this year. So. <sighs> <sighs> For sure. Yeah, it's not happening. I'm not going. I think I announced that last week, though, didn't I? You did. Yeah. That's not news. <laughs> but I want you to announce it every week. That's breaking. Every news. And next week, it's going to be breaking news. What's the, uh, uh, who was the guy that Chevy Chase used to say who's still dead? Oh, and Generalissimo Francisco Franco yep. is still, still dead. He's, he's still dead, guys. It's true. God bless him. God bless him. Christian it. McCaffrey. Little okay. Chrissy McCaffrey? Yep. 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 Uh, this is talking about the, the stars for the, um, Seems to be the stars for the for the Cardinal. No, for the third. 
Yep. Because, uh, so, uh, let's see, there's Kevin Hogan. I know Capri. him. What else is going on, David? Anything else? Uh, Anything I had. Uh, you, I, I mean, I can do my outside of football little uh, update if you'd like. But uh, uh, if you guys were talking football still, I'm, I'm, no, I'm fine with football. that. Football. I don't have much this week. Uh, okay. Just a just a little thing about uh, Jimmy Kimmel and stuff that I was going to talk about. Oh, right. That you has to bring something that to do with shit up? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I can bring this up. This uh, is pretty cool. This last week, uh, I was brought in to direct some uh, some YouTube uh, uh, things for the Dr Pepper tuition giveaway. Was this brought in by a- by Trojan Mickey Meyer from yep. Jash? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And hi, Mickey. Uh, we love Mickey Meyer. He, Maybe we could get Mickey in here. We should get Mickey. He's a football guy. He's yeah. a he's a Yankee fan too, which is crazy. But yeah, we could I definitely get hockey too. Yeah, he's a big hockey guy. I love that. Um, but he uh, he he uh, arranged me to come in and do some, uh, some ice directing. hockey or, or wood hockey. Uh, uh, wood hockey. I, yeah, but, he plays wood hockey. Okay. <laughs> so uh, the Dr Pepper tuition giveaway was a challenge between. USC and UCLA uh, they brought four uh, kids from UCLA and four kids mm-hmm. from USC and they um, they squared off in these these competitions and then they narrowed it down to one Trojan K-Y jelly wrestling matches yes one tro- one Trojan and one Bruin and last night September 16th on the Jimmy Kimmel show those two competed for I think 25 grand in tuition awesome. which was exciting was it two girls it was a girl named Kendra and a guy named Morgan and I will say I you a know a guy named Morgan a guy named Morgan awesome um uh, and I definitely kind of had to not in my head. I was rooting for the Trojan, but I, you know, sure. I had to be biased and, sure. and professional and all that stuff. But uh, when I was watching it last night, I was very excited when uh, Kendra, the the girl who the, the Bruin, the guy was, he was like, oh man, Wait, I got who, this. Yeah, we didn't establish that. Who was who? Morgan? The Trojan was uh, was Kendra. The, the, was the, the, Why the girl, were they making the, them the fight? Kendra. They, and they made them fight. They basically did that thing in, in to the uh, death. Right? Yeah, they broke pool cues and they said whoever bleeds the most We've mm-hmm. gotta, loses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, uh, no, it was like they had to throw footballs into a, a thing, and Jimmy Kimmel was there, and it was really exciting and fun. And it turned out the winner was. Kendra from USC, and the Trojans. Oh, yeah. The Trojans beat the Can Bruins. Can we get her on here? Oh, I, I mean, I yeah. It's I, one of the only that. things that we've been able to beat the Bruins at in the last three years. I think congrats. that would be. I think it would be really creepy if we, uh, if I was like the director of the thing, and was like, "Hey, congratulations! You want to come to my apartment and be on the USC Outsider <laughs> podcast?" No, you just say, you don't "Trust say it me, like that. I know you're three weeks into school. One yeah. microphone, three guys." <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no. Uh, Kendra was very awesome. All the, all gross. the kids were awesome, and they competed and. It's really fun, and we'll do a thing on I See the Frog where we post all the links so you can fun. see the videos. And there was a couple of YouTube guys that did some stuff, and um, there was this kid Alex who's who's got a lot of followers on YouTube, and he was really that funny. Alex? No, a different Alex. No, no. This this kid Alex was really fun and funny, and he needs a Nickelodeon show because his YouTube audience is like five year olds, and he's like, Look, awesome. my audience loves when I fall down, and so he fell down a lot. It was great. My audience is five year olds. Every morning when I drop mine off at school and I fart and they all laugh. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> can we talk about the fart last week? No, we can't talk. About <laughs> sure, that. we. Can. I thought it was two weeks ago. Well, it mm. happened. That was last week it's when a we were phantom fart. We were recording. PH. By the way, this is another announcement that I'm going to do. Uh, part of the supplemental in, uh, supplemental income. Supplemental. supplemental income. <laughs> Anybody who can uh, tweet what movie that's from, I'll be very excited. And you get a prize. You get a prize. You get you get uh, one of uh, Pitts's fingers. Mailed to you. I get to choose which one. Um, no, uh, uh, supplemental materials. I am going to go through the um, the first three episodes and find the most inappropriate shit that you guys have said. Oh, and, there's and, a and, lot. And we're gonna we're gonna put it together. Okay. It might and there, there might, might be, be some of my accents. Act, class action suit. Yeah, well, that Bill Cosby thing you said a moment ago was. Uh, <sighs> yeah, that might make the cut. Yeah, that that's definitely going to be in the in the highlight reel. <laughs> Okay. That's that's all I got. Good. I mean, oh, I was gonna. Oh, lovely. the other thing. The other thing I was gonna say is, and I haven't watched it yet. But did you guys watch uh, Farrell takes the field? Trojan. No, oh, I didn't oh, yeah. see it yet. Trojan Will Farrell took yeah, the field. Did that baseball that. thing. I think that's exciting. Was it but fantastic? I've, I haven't watched it yet. I, I actually went either. to the Padre game and they showed it. And Will Farrell was at the Padre game, Padre Dodger game, a couple weeks ago. Jerking off. And he was he was just like on the diamond vision, just whacking it as hard as he could. Uh, look. He was like he was like I'm the star. Get hard. Look. Yeah. There's nothing yeah. getting to touch me. Misdemeanor fine. Okay, I'm in public. 
Do you know that's all it is? Are you talking about the Burger King guy? You sent me the Burger King guy, the Burger King guy that was jerking off next to the restrooms in Burger King in Florida, right? Yep. Of course. And his his headshot was like, or like his headshot. His mugshot. (laughs) Mugshot. Which may as well have been a headshot. It should be his headshot. Crazy eyes clown available for kids parties. That's what he looked like. So he, this guy, no, when you think about it a little bit further, he was, uh, this guy was on whatever, <laughs> and he went and got a Whopper, and then he jerked off near the restroom. And his last name was King. That was the best part. Oh, his last name no. was I was like, he's the King. He's in there. Yeah. The he Burger goes, King. He goes to a Burger King restaurant, because you have to call him that, and he sits by the restrooms and starts he jerking it. it. Yeah, he Everyone did it. is offended. Everyone in the area was like, <laughs> would you please have him stop? <laughs> So the manager comes I'm out and he's like, my burger. "Sir, stop pleasuring yourself." And he won't. And he just looks. What at did he stoke. say? He had like a continues saying. to do it. But here's the, the you know how you you think of like, oh my god, that's insane. The punishment for this was simply police officers picking him up and putting him in the back of a car, taking him down <laughs> to the station where he received the equivalent of a slap on the wrist and like a couple hundred dollars yeah, fine. Listen. For jerking off in public. And, and kid, this is a family restaurant. You don't want the person that's flipping the burgers picking him up because they're handling your food. Ugh. Right? And the point is if you think that that's the weirdest thing you've ever seen, the fact is that I think it's great that in this society there's like well, no, compared to XYZ, jerking <laughs> off in front of Burger King bathrooms is really yeah. just it's a couple hundred dollar fine. Yeah. Don't do it again, please. You know, jerk off in the car watching people eat their Whoppers. Don't do it inside when people are trying to come to the bathroom and, and you know, walk out. It's <laughs> nothing. You can do that. Well, like, even uh, as a prank. He's now the, It's just a couple hundred bucks. And he's the starting center for Stanford this week? He is. And you know what? He <laughs> is the starting center for Stanford, and David Shaw is a child molester. Jesus <laughs> Christ, Rick. Stop. You can't say that. That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> That's not true. We're going to get sued. We're not. And, no, by we're the one not person watching affiliated this. by uh, from yes. the University of Southern California. I don't know. Yeah. We are officially affiliated with Stanford. <laughs> no, <laughs> very good. No, this um, is all in jest, parody clause. Uh, where are you going? Don't kick shit, Pitts. Fill her up. Oh, what Pitts? Are we is, making uh, drinks? Yeah, refill this, please. Uh, uh, okay. Hey, what? Right, no. Okay. No, and when David and I were, uh, and I'm going to parlay. Are you going to go to? Are you going to go to this? You're no. going to go to the devil. I'm not going. No, but because I think we I talked know, about it on the show before. Did you talk about that on the show? Yeah, uh, Pitts and I talked about that. Oh. We were we were like one of the funniest times in in college was when. Someone from I think he was now. Here's what's even greater. He was a, a film student at LMU. Oh, he dressed himself up as the devil, but so he he painted himself red, fully uh, red, head to toe, head to toe. Had but, a little he had little he wings. He had wings on and a pitchfork. And a pitchfork and, and a he thing. went to the end of the ten freeway, right when it goes like down to PCH. He goes to the end of the ten freeway where it says I think it, at the time said it Welcome to Santa funniest. Monica or something. And he positioned himself in in a manner that everyone exiting the ten uh, looked had to see the devil shaming them with a pitchfork and just pointing his finger at him. And he was a, a, a film student from LMU who later went on to direct Up in the Air with George Clooney. <laughs> That's not, not true. true either. That is Ivan. <laughs> uh, that was Jason but Reitman this guy up in the air. Did the not fellow Trojan. Obviously. Yeah, I had a jazz studies class with uh, uh, Jason Reitman. Obviously, not a lot of that is true. But the, this guy <laughs> from LMU dressed from head to toe. And the reason that he Ooh. got taken into jail was because he Norris is on the edge of his seat for this story. I'm very excited. <laughs> actually, painted his genitalia red. The cops in Santa Monica took him in. And at the time in '94, this was after the riots. A lot of the cops were trying to get on the good side of the community again they did not they did not find him they did not find the student because he was doing a student project he was completely naked and that was funny but and he just had, shaking he it he dressed up he his like bits his whip, completely just red just whipping just back and shaking forth. It. they took his mug shot as the devil oh. so they just got this guy and they showed it on on uh, channel 9 news or something and it was just his is you know head on and the profile <laughs> and it, it just said the devil and it said, the devil comes to Santa Monica. Everyone had a sense of humor about it, including everyone who was watching it. Can we find that footage? You can't do that anymore. That's got to like, be. There's no way that would happen again. Do you know, oh, man. You He'd guys be just... booked as a terrorist and <laughs> and uh, and a child molester. I, I haven't been on camera in like the past 10 minutes, by the way, I don't think. What are you talking about? 
just because it's, I don't think it's, it's on two shot. Oh, of oh it's from a mother. Well, it's from a mother people. daughter. It's on a mother daughter show. No, no, no. It's not on no. a mother daughter show. So, no. Okay, good. If you want to scooch in, no. Alex is in charge. He's he's got me. Here's the uh, when uh, when Dave and I were in. I can uh, go three shot. You want me to set up a three shot? Norris, what are you doing? Uh, nothing at all. Norris, Norris yeah, can set up a three shot if that makes you happier, Pitts. No, no, Watch, I'm he's going to have to go around. Just I, don't, next okay. week I want my own camera. I think you We s- can make that happen. Uh, fine. <laughs> you want a single? Oh, uh, if man. you, I think if More you me. pulled out as far as you could and just had an awkward shot with the three of us talking like in the corner. And it's the another thing. It just, <laughs> we can do <laughs> that. Just like a little. Yeah, we like, can do that. What we the can get fuck experimental. kind of shot is that? <laughs> There's just the three, these three little heads yeah. talking in the corner. I have no problem getting experimental with the, uh, with the outsider if yeah. you guys are good with that. We can get yeah, artistic. About, we can do one camera black and white. Let's get back to football. We've got a middle inside linebacker yeah. who's a freshman. Uh, yeah, Cameron he's Smith. Good. He's this good. This kid's going to start this week, and and Lamar Dawson, who's had a problem with his ribs, is going to be behind him. And the thing is, once we get those guys back, it's like getting Lamar Dawson back is the key to the defense, it's in gravy. my opinion, as getting uh, uh, Justin Davis back on the offense for running back. This is one of those it's things. Gravy. That if you get these gentlemen and back and healthy, there's. It's it's almost like you're you're accepting responsibility as a coaching staff. Like this is the only way we're going to lose the game is on us because we've got all the chess pieces at ten. If we make a bad decision as a coach, this is what's going to cost us the game because it's certainly not the kids playing it because of the, re- the recruiting that Sark has done and the fact that there's freshmen starting freshmen deep. And and well, you can't say that because maybe there's a kid that's going to go and he's going to fumble the ball. That's not a coach's fault. I haven't seen. Okay, you Don't, know what? Knock on wood. Uh, but I'm not I haven't put seen that any, out there in the. Uh, no uh, one has had propensity for dropsies Shit. this year. Oh, okay. can we do that thing? Uh, you you guys listen to the Dodgers uh, where they talk about like the weird play of the game or whatever. Can we talk? Can we make? Can we go to the Angel Vision Board? The, can we go to the Angel with the Rally Monkey? You no the weird. Like weird like, play? do we talk that, about? By the way. The what? The, the Angel? Angel Vision Board from Naked Gun, which they actually filmed. Oh, yeah. It was at an Dodger Angel game Stadium. with Reggie Jackson that they yes. filmed at Dodger Stadium. Yes. Where the, the car ran over the second baseman, the Listen, tiger attacked the guy in center field. And he, how about that? And his head came off as well. Listen, I will say that, and I said this the other day at the Dodger game, uh, Pitts, we were there, and uh, that is the funniest sequence the funniest sports it sequence is. in film history. And I, with, I can't yeah. listen to the national anthem no. without yes. thinking of Enrico Palazzo. Oh, and the Trojan marching band yeah, they, is in they, that scene they as stomp well. Over it, the, it's yeah. so, it's so the good. Queen, oh, yeah. And, and, and also it has fellow Trojan, our favorite Trojan, O.J. Simpson, uh, <laughs> playing Nordberg, uh, the finest actor <laughs> Nordberg's who's ever murdered anyone. Job. I'm surprised he didn't get an Academy Award for that. Nordberg's not as funny anymore. But apparently... You know what? I look past it. Um, we are of a certain age because some people stuck don't know what the fuck you're talking about if you say Naked Gun, the first one. The Naked Gun... no idea. Listen, we're going to do a thing on, on I See no the Frog clue. about the Naked Gun because that that baseball sequence is, it is a comedic yeah, gem. Um, yeah. We have to go? <laughs> no, let's get back to this. <clears throat> okay. Wait, I was going to say something. Hey, Pitts, you, you have to take a picture of your what you drew while I we were already, talking. I did. Okay, good. And uh, wait, I was going to say one other thing about Nordberg, but now nah, I forgot. <laughs> Never mind. Pitts is just going to draw buttholes. <laughs> Defiantly drawing. Yeah, just... Pitts is drawing buttholes good again. One, Pitts. Oh, yeah. that's not a butthole. Yeah, that's the butthole. Is. Oh, that is the yeah, butthole. It's bigger. It's like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Something happened. Anyway, um, we, we should do Pitsy's picks. Yes, please. Oh, my God. There's so many of these. Yeah, these go. I'm going to try and do them faster. It's because okay. Top 25. Yep. Go you ahead. Know, you know, it's a quicker read than We've it is. We've done our than thing. We've done We've covered everything. Coach Sarkeesian wasn't drunk this week. Uh, That's good news. Nobody got well, not that we know of. Nobody got arrested. Nobody was in a nobody weird thing. Hurt. There were no. There was no weirdness this week, as far as I Lindale know. Lindale White didn't throw a um, dummy over a, a parking lot structure. I don't no. know. This game's already <laughs> happened. I don't know what happened. Number eleven, Clemson uh, went to Louisville. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I'll find out for wait, you. Wait, make your let's pick. make my pick make and let's pick. see what happens. I picked Clemson, and they uh, they get a tough road win over uh, Louisville. So and the internet is down. I'm going to keep going. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. It's fine. We're good. Uh, number nine, Florida State. Florida State. Florida State make a left. travels to Boston College tomorrow. The semen holes win. The semen holes? Is that what I said? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Ooh. The semen holes. Is that what they are? They're really the called? Seminoles. Oh. Uh, they win, but uh, mm. Golson, their starting quarterback, who was the starting quarterback for Notre Dame last year, is laughing. 
because Gunnar Golson. Yeah, because the uh, Notre Dame quarterback went down with injury this week, and Golson's like, "Oh, sorry guys, later." Oh, by the way, this just in. Pitts is not go? going to the Notre Dame game this <laughs> yeah. year. So, yeah, breaking, news. breaking news. Breaking news. Would you go if I went? Did I so, pick it? Yeah, you uh, you picked Clemson, right? I did. They won. Hey, in a tough road win is what I said. Yeah, 20 you did. To 17. Twenty to seventeen. Good Clemson for, wins. Good for, good for me. Nice work, Pitts. You just won your own finger. Yeah. The next one, I have uh, Stanford at USC. The Trojans make it three in a row. Uh, it's a tougher win than we've seen the last two weeks. We've already talked about this. We've given scores. And good we're getting deal. together, by the way, right? We're watching together. Yeah, we're going to shoot go some shit. House. We're going to shoot it. some shit and do Probably. some push-ups. Okay. Okay. Good. Rick's a maybe. Probably. Um, Rick. This is this is <laughs> my my game of the week right here. Number nineteen traveling to. Uh, BYU traveling to UCLA, the Uglies. Um, I would have picked BYU in this game had their starting quarterback not gone down with injury. Mm-hmm. But, uh, and UCLA is at home, and that's the only reason that I have um, UCLA pulling this one out. But it's going to be a tough game for them, and it's going to be fun to watch. Nevada travels to Texas A&M. Texas A&M wins easy. Mm-hmm. Um, Rick, ask me if the Spartans of Mich- Michigan State um, have a letdown this week against Air Force. Do you think that the Michigan State Spartans will have a letdown this week against Air Force? No. Um, Oklahoma has <laughs> Tulsa visit them. The Sooners uh, win, um, but the Sooners suck this year. Uh, UConn going to Mizzou, number 20. Wow. Mizzou. Now, yeah. There's a matchup. Right. There's a shit matchup. Mizzou wins. Number 23, Northwestern. They made it in the top 25 here after beating Stanford two weeks ago. Uh, they go to Duke. Northwestern wins that game. They uh, take the devil out of Duke, making them the Duke Blue. Not the Duke Blue Devil. Good one. Good one. Okay. That <laughs> one reads better than it says. Um, Georgia State powerhouse Georgia State traveling to Otson to play the number 12 Oregon Ducks. Good one, Ducks. I don't see any way that the Oregon Ducks win this game. <laughs> Home of the... <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, Oregon wins this one going away. They bounce Against back. Georgia, the... Um, home, home and what, the wait, what's the joke about Oregon? You know what the O stands for? Yeah. Zero championships. No championships. Oh. Um, and it's not going to happen this year. That's Man. so mean. Yeah, it's mean, all right. No. How, how did... Fuck them. I mean, Oregon, yes, they played... A highly ranked team in Michigan State, but how do they only fall to twelve? We'll see how that plays out. With Chip Kelly there, they would have they would have beaten Michigan State. Well, speaking of Chip Kelly, that brings me to my next game. Thank you for the segue. Number fourteen, Georgia Tech traveling to number eight, Notre Dame. Georgia Tech wins this game this week. Pitts, I meant I meant to ask Brian you, Kelly. are you going to go to the? Oh, not Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly I just heard Kelly. Kelly. No, it's okay. Kelly is the last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Co- Sorry speaking of Coach that. Kelly's, speaking of Coach Kelly's, that. that's a great segue. Can we go back in time? Yeah. Uh, you know what? <laughs> if Kelly was still coaching that team, there we go. Either Kelly, Brian, or Chip. Uh, or Garrison. They win that game. Anyway, I gave that pick. Georgia Tech wins the game. At you Notre think Dame this Notre week. Dame's done. Yeah. Their luck is done. I They're think finally going to make I wrote that down right here. It says luck runs out. Luck runs um, out. You did. Um, Pitts, mostly I'm because they've got this backup quarterback. He looked pretty decent last week, but I think Georgia Tech's going to come in fired up, and they're going to beat him. I okay. was just going to ask Pitts, uh, are you going to make it to the Notre Dame game this year? <laughs> um, breaking news. <laughs> I'm not going to make it this week. Next year. year. Or this year. Wait, do you, how many? You, you still have more? I have a few more. Okay, go, go, Northern go, Northern Illinois visits number one Ohio State. Thanks, Buckeyes, for playing such a tough schedule this year. No wonder you're number one. You win everything because you play Northern Illinois. Uh, next game, 18 Auburn goes to 13 LSU. That's a great game. LSU, LSU wins. Yes, I agree. But it's in a low-scoring groaner of a game. Boring. Troy visiting Wisconsin, number 24. Wisconsin beats them because it's Troy. Uh, UTSA, they came up a couple weeks ago. Wasn't that University of Texas San Antonio? Antonio? Yeah. Visit the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Cowboys win, number 25. I think think Oklahoma State won. Yeah, because they're at home. Go Pokes. South Carolina Cox visiting number 7 Georgia. Dogs beat Cox. Oh, because they're in Georgia. If no, that's were, just a statement. Yeah, that's the name of my next if album. If they were playing, I think it, it's wherever they play. Actually, how is how is how is uh, I love that the other USC doing? You not right. Oh, they're unranked. I don't know. They're, they're Georgia will uh, take care of business. Uh, Southern Methodist still under sanctions. The ponies got the death penalty. Uh, visiting TCU, I think TCU yeah. number three gets up for that game and takes care of business. Yeah, 
consensus. And number 15, Mississippi. Ole Miss visiting number two, Alabama. That could be an interesting game, but I think the Tide gets up and wins that one solely on Lane Kiffin's play calling. Mm. <laughs> number 21, Utah visiting Fresno State. What are they, the Farmers? No, they're the Bulldogs, right? Bulldogs. Yeah. Fresno State. Uh, Utah State wins that game. Yep. But it's a close one. Uh, Fresno State gives them hell. Last game, Northern Arizona. Okay. The Lumberjacks visiting number 20, Arizona. Wildcats beat the Lumberjacks. How are the Wildcats doing right now? I'm asking for, uh, I'm asking for a friend. They're 2-0, oh, number 20. Okay. Good. Because uh, that's the that's the team I root for in second place because of Reverend Bob. Sure. Slash my father. Um, who's not a reverend. The Wait, second Pitts. bravest man. He can I... For 24 hours. Can I... Um, Yes, he, he was. Uh, Sorry, can those, I ask those though? Take so long. Maybe those we dudes, just do top ten from now on. I, I was actually s- suggesting that uh, in my head, but I wanted to ask: <laughs> Did we uh, did we follow up with how you did last week? I mean, do you? Uh, no, we can put that in print. Like um, like how how I, did you? I do? lost two last week. Two? You yep. called every single one Except of those, but two. two? How many of those? Are, there's twenty there's of them. Twenty. No, well, top twenty five. There's you did the top twenty five games, and you called every game except two. I missed two. Which ones did you miss? I idiot? can't remember. I don't have it in front of me, but okay. I missed two. Jesus Christ. So this guy is like... It's legit. Li- listen to this guy and bet some money, people. I mean, go to DraftKings. You know, I got to go back on that and say... <laughs> they're, they're, the DraftKings is all you hear about. Like, that's... <laughs> that's and that crazy. other one, there's only... Hold on real quick. I got advertising money that those fuckers bananas. are spending. That was a big thing on... I got to give a Rachel disclaimer Mountain. here. The first okay. two and three weeks of college football are way easier to pick because everybody's playing Nevada. Yeah. And everybody's playing. So that's Utah. my disclaimer. It's going to get harder, and I don't always do that well. Oh, my God. It is my birthday. It's going to get harder. Yeah, yeah. You, this is your birthday night. What are you going to do? What are you going to put under the tree? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm having I'm having drinks. But we, we have a party coming up soon, so we'll all celebrate that's later. Right. And that was, uh, I think that's going to be it uh, for this week. You know that we're all picking the Trojans. You know that it's going to be uh, Trojans by maybe a couple touchdowns if we keep Ooh. with the platooning. Wait, you changed your deal there. 27, 28-14? Yeah, that's two touchdowns. Yeah, a couple touchdowns. Everybody's I, got them by a couple touchdowns. Not me. Except I, David. I got them by 10. That's one touchdown. Really. I got him hey, by a touchdown. Everybody and a but half. me doesn't matter. <laughs> and I think it's going to be a little tighter. Than USC that. by a couple. USC wins though. By the way, we're posting that picture. Absolutely. And that picture is going to include Trent's that. has got a middle that, finger and some sort of butthole in the middle. Anatomically incorrect <laughs> butt on it. So it's you, it's you guys worse can, as, as you guys can right. enjoy that. It's got that a sausage home. holder. <laughs> So we think USC is going to pull it out, and uh, thankfully we don't have much negative things to say, and, and maybe after this year, or after this weekend, we won't have anything negative to say because we will pull it out again uh, against Stanford pull for three out. years in a row. Pull out. They are always good, conditioned, well-coached. Maybe this will be the last year that David Shaw is in, and one thing that I will say, can't wait till Stanford plays Oregon in any way, shape, or form because they have Oregon's number. Yeah, that's a fun it's one. It's always, always a fun game for, for USC fans to watch, to, to just see. I don't know if they play each other this year, though, do they? Don't, north, I think they have south. to. They're all They're, all, they're both north? They're, they're all north. handball. Okay. They do it in handball. They might play each other they're in handball. They're probably handball. But it's good to see those, those two guys, uh, you know, get it on. And then uh, the week after next will be a bye week. Uh, we're still deciding if we're just going to sit here and get drunk on camera and talk about other things, or well, it's going to get weird because the follow-up to the bye week is a Thursday night game, so we got to work that yeah, out. Yeah, we'll have to work it out. We have a Friday night game too. No, yeah, we do. So Don't let we? us work no. this one out. Uh, uh-huh. You, you guys have everything you need to know to watch this game. Uh, the kickoff is at 5 p.m. Pacific time. The only time that matters, it's on ABC Seven or whatever channel ABC is on in your area, wherever the mouse owns. <laughs> And, go, so, and talk about the frog. Give it a little frog. And I let's, see the frog. And go to icethefrog.com. And what's the podcast? Where you get the podcast? Uh, USCOutsider.com. You can find us on Facebook, which is Facebook backslash USC Outsider. You can uh, follow me at, at Child Molester. No. At, on I'm, at, I'm at D Ficus on Twitter. And you are at Scotty Images. Scotty Images. And, uh, and you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are at, at Street Magic you're going, Rocks. You're at AdolescentHole.com. Oh. <laughs> You're going to prison, both of you, <laughs> because you should. Because you're bad, bad okay. people. Hey, you're bad people. Fight on. Fight, Fight on. on. Thanks for having me.